Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good day, Alice Taylor. Well, thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, my favorite city, on the Valder BB Show on Y99 KYBS. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm a Texan, so I love it. Ah, I love Texans. <laughs> you know, we're a whole other group of people on the planet. I tell you, you what. Thank you so much. And what part of Texas? If I, I could ask you what part of Texas yeah, you identify with. I was born in Houston. My sister lives in Stephenville right now, and uh, we love Texas. Oh, so do I. All right, you and I are off to a good start. But I like RV, and I haven't done it. I'm planning on doing it this summer. I would love to do it. So you got some information about Go RV and, and why it's so popular, too. You know what? It's popular because people are starting to enjoy their lives again because the economy is good. They're making more money, and they're able to get away <laughs> for a few minutes and just take a breath and, and, and start to appreciate life and their families, their children, their spouses. There was a couple of years there that were pretty tough, but, you know, the RV industry right now is experiencing eight years in a row, growth over growth over growth. This year, they will set a record of 500,000 RVs being sold. Next year, they're going to break that record. And it's because we, the people, are having a better time with our lives. We can afford a little extra to buy a, a micro mini. You know, these are 20 to 25,000 bucks. You can buy a Winnebago starting at $15,000 or you can spend 450 grand if you want. So there's a little bit like I'm standing right in the middle of this uh, Winnebago place here at the National RV Show. There's a little bit of everything for everybody these days. You can buy a pop-up camper, you can buy one that goes in the back of your truck, or you can buy one that pulls your truck. So um, I think the best way to get started though, Valder, is to rent one. And I've given this advice over and over and again. The reason is because if you just jump out and buy one emotionally, and I've done it before, so I know. The last motor on my head was 45 feet. I loved it, but it was so big that I couldn't use it as much as my 25 foot. So guess what? I end up using, and I have two motor homes, so I end up using the smaller one more. And so I should have rented a big giant one first so I could see if I wanted to live with it because that's a big investment and you're going to live with it. Some people even live in them. But rent one first, and you can find, no matter where you live, you can find everything you want to know about the RV industry at GoRVing.com. Real easy. One, one site covers this whole industry. Well, how exciting is it to be there on the show to see all these new products and new innovations? That should be exciting by itself. You know, I live this life for all this, to be able to bring this to you guys. I mean, I go to the auto shows, the RV shows, the tech shows. What I find here at the RV show it's all rolled into one. You've got giant machinery, you know, big, they have four wheel drive motorhomes these days, right? So of everything that I love as a car guy and everything my wife loves as a homeowner, because these are like homes on wheels. So they decorate them so beautifully that you feel at home, no matter how small they are or how big they are, there's a little bit of something for everybody in an RV. And even these extreme lifestyle people, I've seen some of these these things you could pull up the side of a mountain with a Jeep and still have all the conveniences of home. So there's, again, the RV industry offers something for everybody these days. That's what these shows are about. Well, I have a new Jeep Wrangler, so I have to get an RV to complement my Wrangler now. So you're just helping me along. And you're helping my case to my husband. We need an RV. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you know what? And that's the thing. If you have a Jeep Wrangler, you can only pull a certain size vehicle. You can rent one first. Make sure that you get one that you feel comfortable pulling with that Jeep Wrangler. And man, you'll be the one, you will be the one up on the side of the mountain looking out over that valley, watching the eagles soar over there in Texas. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm, I and mean, I'm excited that 
oh God, I hated this word, and forgive me for saying that. I hated that word staycation. Oh, it just drove me crazy. Because, you know, we went through the period of time where they say, oh, a staycation is great, and people were camping out in their backyard. I'd rather go RVing, okay? Well, you know what? The reason why we had the staycation thing that was a word made up, because we couldn't afford to go out, that's why. And now, because the economy's <laughs> good, we can get out there and enjoy life like you're doing with your Jeep Wrangler and whatever you're going to pull behind it. Have fun out there. Check out all the information at GoRVing.com. I want to thank you so very much for exciting my audience. And as I want them to know that Alan Taylor, they told me he was one of the best to talk about an RV, and you lived up to that. Thank you, Alan Taylor. Thank you I really very much, Valder. Really appreciate you having me on.